Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this video I am going to show you how to make another type of layout called a stack switcher. Now a stack switcher is a type of layout that is essentially just tabs. So you know whenever you have a tab layout you have one or more tabs at the top and then you can click them and switch between different areas or different sections of your program. So with a stack switcher the top part or the tabs this is actually called the stack switcher and the main area where your content is this is called the stack but I'm probably just gonna refer to it as the tabs in the main area but remember if you're taking a test or something this is called the stack switcher and this is called the stack so the first thing I'm gonna do before I get started is just add a little bit of padding around um, all of my content in the main window so set border width I just set it to 10 like before thought that was pretty good and now what I'm gonna do is this I'm actually gonna make another box because if I don't add this box then your main content is gonna be butted right up against the tabs and it's gonna look a little bit goofy in this example so I just want to add a little bit of spacing between the main area and the tab so this is how you do that so make box and just set this equal to GTK box and we need to change why doesn't orientation pop up that's kind of weird we need to change orientation of, of GTK dot orientation dot vertical because by default boxes are horizontal left and right however we want our tabs on top of our main area so if we don't do this then the tabs are like gonna be weird and on the left so I also want to change the spacing to 10. All right, so now inside this box, what we can do is add our crap and everything's gonna be nice looking purdy. So this is just for looks. We didn't even get to the main tutorial yet. So let me, all righty mates. Got some more space to work and boom. So the first thing I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna make the stack, in other words, the main area. Now, after I have the main area, I'm gonna make two different pages, I guess, if you will, and then we'll make the switcher to control them all. So main area, that's what I'm gonna name mine, and this is just the GTK stack. So again, technically, whenever you're looking up documentation and stuff, remember it's called the stack, but in this tutorial, main area, my tutorial, my rules. All right, so one cool thing you can do is you can actually set the transition type. Now there are a bunch of different transitions and this is whenever you switch to a new tab, you can either, we'll show you guys one cool example right now. Uh, stack transition type and you can see all the different ones. I'm just gonna hit slide left to right. So normally whenever you have tabs, boom, you click and the contents there, boom, look at that. But you can also have it transition in like have the content in here slide in from the left. I'm sure if you've ever seen a PowerPoint demonstration, then a lot of people always go overboard and have crap flying in from all different angles. Well, you can do that. I don't like it, but you know, I figure I'll show you guys right now. And another thing I wanna do is in the main area, whenever you have a transition like this, you usually wanna set the transition, where are you, right here, duration. So if stuff is flinging in from the left, this is gonna fling, fling in fast, slow, and I'll just put 2000 right there. So whenever it transitions in, it's gonna take two seconds. If it's too slow, then we can speed it up to one second, but trying to demonstrate a point, so there you go. So now we got you know how we wanna switch between tabs. Now let's actually add some stuff in our tabs, and I'm just gonna make this real simple. Just add a quick checkbox, and I'm just gonna name like check button equals gt check button and i'll just write uh what am i gonna write on this all right do not fn check me you can check it if you want but i just thought it'd be funny all right now for the main area we need to add that check button so main area add titled check button so we're gonna add the check button to the main area and this second parameter right here is just whenever you're actually using it in an actual program you need to give it a name but I'll just name it like a check name you can name it whatever you want you can name it egg salad whatevs and check box 
All right, looking good for that. And now for the second thing, and again, um, so the first tab, all it's gonna have is a check button in it. And the second tab, I'll just add some text in it. You know, keeping things real simple. And for the label, again, this is just gonna be basic text. I'm just gonna make a basic label. And then, well, I'll actually show you guys this. For the label, you can actually set, it's popping up here, set markup. Jesus, come on, Haas. I'm trying to type here. All right, so GTK has a special type of markup. Do I keep calling it GTX? That's embarrassing if I do. But GTK has a special type of markup, and it's kind of like HTML, but it has a weird uh, couple of rules. One tag that you can use is big, and then whatever text you write here, of course, it's going to be huge. So, OMG, this text is huge. Jeez, why can I not type? That's embarrassing. All right. So, now in the main area, now that we got a label, what we can do is we can add titled label and this needs a name too I'll just write like a label name and this is nothing that the user is gonna see it's just for later on whenever you're actually programming it and I'm just really like big label and like you want to get the value of a checkbox to see if it was checked or not tomato tomato but whatever all right so now check it out we created our main area we added two things inside it so the checkbox is gonna be in tab one and then when you click over to tab two then it's gonna show your label, but we actually need to build the switcher or the tabs themselves so the user can switch between them. And this is the stack switcher, and that's what this is gonna be. And it's really easy. I'm just gonna name my stack switcher. Why not? And this is equal to GTK. Stack switcher right there. So the first um, function you have to call on it is for can't even type all right so for the stack, stack switcher you need to give it a stack in other words what is the area that it's going to control well that's just the main area of course that's the only one we have in this program and now what we need to do after this is remember we created this box a couple minutes ago and this box we created it so we can have some spacing between the tabs at the top in the main area so now we just have to add the switcher and the main area to that box and that's it. So for the box, pack start. And remember the first parameter is what do you wanna add? Stack switcher. So that's the thing that's gonna appear on top. True, true zero, copy this, paste it, change the name and we got ourselves a computer program in the main area. So there you go. Now in our box we added the switcher, AKA the tabs, then we added the main area. Now, whenever you run this baby, where are you at, where are you at? All right, there you go. So again, these two tabs right here, checkbox and big label, this is the stack switcher, and this right here is the stack, the main area, and you can have whatever you want in there. And again, I know I was calling them tabs, and I kind of hate doing it because something else in GTK is called tabs, and I don't wanna, you know, I don't know. I just thought it was easier to explain that way, but there you go. And look at those slow transitions. And again, they don't have to transition from the right and the left. You can transition them in other kinds of ways. You don't have to have any transition at all, but if you do, then you can adjust that, maybe change the duration of it if it's too slow, but whatever. So there, ladies and gentlemen, is a tab to layout, AKA a stack switcher. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If not, well, I'll give you your money back. Just kidding. This tutorial is free. Uh, see you guys later.